Hey, welcome back to the workshop. A long time ago, I made a video where I took a Trangia alcohol burner and used it with Coleman Camp Fuel. Since then, I've been wondering what would happen if I burnt all kinds of other fuels in here. Today we're going to find out. Okay, let's get the data out of the way first. If you just want the numbers and you don't want to spend 17 minutes watching me try to set the workshop on fire, here you go. The acetone boiled a half liter of water the fastest, at 6 minutes and 27 seconds, followed by Coleman Camp Fuel, then Zippo Lighter Fluid, Paint Thinner, Denatured Alcohol, Heat Automotive Fuel Additive, 91% Isopropyl Alcohol, and finally Charcoal Grill Lighter was the slowest, at 13 minutes 48 seconds. However, the only fuels I recommend for using in the Trangia burner are the alcohol-based fuels for which it was originally intended. The other fuels are all petroleum-based in one way or another. They all burn very dirty, covering the cook pot in thick black soot, and they all cause an unacceptably large flame, potentially even large enough to start a brush fire if you tried this in a dry season wilderness camp. Using the oil-based fuels may be faster and could potentially be used in an emergency if this was all you had, but under normal circumstances, I absolutely do not recommend it. Anyway, on to the test. I'm going to use a brand new Trangia burner for this test. Okay, these are our fuels. Today we're going to test isopropyl alcohol, Zippo lighter fluid, paint thinner, heat, Kingsford charcoal lighter, denatured alcohol, mineral spirits, Coleman camp fuel, and acetone. First up is denatured alcohol. I'm not concerned with how much fuel goes in here. I just want to give it a good fill. So I'm sure I've got enough to boil my water with. For this test, we're just concerned with boil times and that's it. Uh, this is a stainless steel click stand stove. And we're going to be boiling a standard one half liter bottle of water in an MSR Titan kettle. Ambient outdoor temperature today is 42 degrees, or about five and a half degrees Celsius. Good camping weather. It's hard to see in there, but it is burning. Alright, I'm going to call that 11 minutes to a rolling boil with denatured alcohol. Next up is 91% isopropyl alcohol. 99% would be better, but this is what I could get. The alcohol is difficult to ignite at today's outdoor temperatures. But that's nothing a torch can't fix.
Okay, we're going to say that took about 12 minutes and 9 seconds to really reach a rolling boil. Maybe even a little longer, depending on how you define rolling boil. But it definitely takes a little longer than the denatured alcohol. Man, the bottom of that pot is really dirty. This would definitely not be my first choice for fuel in a, uh, for this stove. Not by a long shot. But you could use it in an emergency if this was all you had. Alright, next up is heat. I know a lot of guys use this as their main Trangia fuel. And it seems to work real well. I've used this myself in the past. It burns a little cleaner than uh, some of your other fuels you might try. That's probably plenty. It's hard to see, but it is lit. I'm going to say that's uh, 11 minutes and 20 seconds to a good rolling boil. <laughs> After cooking with the heat, the bottom of the pot is much cleaner. Most of this is soot left over from the previous test. Okay, next up is Kingsford Charcoal Barbecue Grill Lighter. I'm not really sure what this stuff is made of. I don't think it's the same thing as regular lighter fluid. If you've ever used this stuff in your barbecue grill, you know that from time to time it can be notoriously difficult to ignite. Lucky for me, I've got a solution for that. The Kingsford seems to be a lot slower to boil than the fuels I've tested so far. It's also really dirty burning. Alright, <clears throat> we're going to say 13 minutes 48 seconds till we've reached a rolling boil on this stuff. But as you can see, not only does this burn super dirty, but uh, this flare up probably isn't a desirable feature either. Man, that is really, really dirty. Man, this cook pot is completely black. The stove's dirty. The trangia is all dirty. So, Kingsford charcoal lighter is not a good choice as a fuel for your trangia burner. Could you use it in an emergency? Would it boil your water? Sure, yeah it would. But uh, if I could use anything else, I would probably pick anything else over this. Time to get this cleaned up and move on to the next test. Alright, the next test is Zippo Lighter Fluid.
I think this is actually worse than the charcoal lighter. We're going to go ahead and say 8 minutes, 27 seconds to a rolling boil. So, Zippo lighter fluid in your Trangia burner? I don't recommend it. Oh, don't do that either. Well, that ain't good. Persistent fucker, isn't it? That's right, kids. Playing with fire is lots of fun. Don't try this at home. The thing to do here is to enclose this and starve it of oxygen. Got a scrap steel plate here, and if I had uh, something better to put over top of it, I would. All I've got is my Titan kettle, which I really don't want to do because it'll get all cruddy inside, but the test must go on. That'll fix it. Eh, not too bad. So yeah, what's the takeaway lesson here? Don't put Zippo fluid in your Trangia. All right, next up is paint thinner. This one's reluctant to light. Time for the torch. All right, I think it's lit. Obviously, any of these which require a torch to light would be a poor choice for cold weather field use. Just like the lighter fluid and the charcoal lighter, the paint thinner seems to reach a point where it kind of gets this flame bloom thing that's going on here. And uh, while this does boil the water, you probably don't want to deal with this in, in the woods somewhere. I would imagine that all of our kind of oil-based fuels are going to exhibit pretty much this same behavior. That isn't good. Best stick to alcohol fuels for this type of stove from now on. Alright, I'm going to say 9 minutes 47 seconds to a rolling boil on this one. Guess there's a good reason that this is an alcohol burner and not an everything else burner. Ooh, that's hot. At least this one goes out. Okay, my next test was going to be mineral spirits. But then I noticed my uh, jug of paint thinner here says made with mineral spirits. So as far as I'm concerned, these two are basically the same. And I can skip this one. Time to move on to something else. Alright, next up, acetone. That's probably good.
We're going to say 6 minutes 27 seconds to a rolling boil for the acetone. This is our fastest time yet. And for the final test, Coleman Camp Fuel. All right, I'm gonna call that seven minutes and four seconds to a good rolling boil with the Coleman fuel. Okay, so what did we learn? Could you use these alternative fuels in your Trangia burner? Yes, yes you could. They would burn and they would boil your water and your stove would be fine. It'd be really dirty, but I think it would be okay. However, should you use these as fuels in your Trangia burner? No, absolutely not. Uh, not only do they burn really dirty, but they create such a large flame bloom, I think that uh, in many cases, you might run the risk of setting your campsite on fire, and nobody wants that. So if you can, you should stick to alcohol-based fuels, which is exactly what this stove was designed for anyway. Most of these fuels do have faster boiling times than the alcohol-based fuels, but they come with so many other problems, to me it doesn't make a difference. Uh, I'm going to stick with the denatured alcohol or the heat. And uh, I'm not going to use any of these other ones if I don't absolutely have to. So I hope you found that interesting, and I'll be right back here in the workshop with another project just as soon as I can. See you then.